The leakage and discharge fault detection technology of subway electromechanical equipment based on big data analysis. So here is the content of my uh, thesis dissertation defense. The first one is introduction, second, research methods and ideas, third, experiment and results analysis, and last one is the conclusion. Now firstly, I will come to the introduction part. The statistical data show that the metro electromechanical equipment is still dominated by insulation failure. The continuation of leakage and discharge faults will not only lead to the burning and damage of the insulation area, but also cause the circuit short circuit be between turns and layers. In some metro electromechanical equipment tests, it can be found that rapid detection of leakage and discharge faults of the equipment can reflect the insulation resistance of electromechanical equipment in advance, and it can quickly detect the insulation fault of electromechanical equipment to prevent accidents. Therefore, it is an urgent problem to study the leakage and discharge fault detection technology of metro electromechanical equipment. Therefore, as research on leakage and discharge fault detection technology of subway electromechanical equipment based on big data analysis is proposed. Firstly, the causes and specific types of leakage and discharge faults of metro equipment are analyzed and appropriate sensors are selected to collect the operation signals of the equipment. The wavelet transform algorithm is used to extract the operation signal characteristics and leakage and discharge fault signal characteristics of the equipment. And the support vector machine SVM algorithm is used to obtain the optimal classification hyperplane to accurately classify the leakage and discharge fault characteristics of the metro electromechanical equipment, so as to realize the accurate detection of leakage and discharge faults of electromechanical equipment. Second, research methods and ideas. The overall model of leakage and discharge fault detection technology for metro electromechanical equipment is shown in Figure 1. Collect the operation signal of metro electromechanical equipment Analyze the leakage and discharge fault types of metro electromechanical equipment. Extracting the characteristic of the equipment operation signal based on wavelet transform algorithm. Detection of the equipment leakage fault based on support vector machine algorithm. Now first we turn to the acquisition of running signals of subway electromechanical equipment. The polar coordinate formula of the double-armed helix of the Archimedes helix antenna is expressed as the following. The Archimedes helix antenna is a flat-pointed structure, and the width of the spiral metal wire is equal to the distance between the wires, forming a self-complementary structure, which enables better impedance matching. In an area outside the effective radiation area, the main electromagnetic radiation has been radiated into the space, and the area outside the main radiation area will not have a major impact on the antenna. Since part of the current still passes through the effective radiation area along the helical coil, reflection will occur according to the principle of terminal effect and affect the performance of the antenna part. The Archimedes helix antenna designed above is installed on the sensor and it is effectively connected to provide effective support for the complete acquisition of the oper operating signal of the subway equipment. The obtained operating signal of subway equipment are integrated into a set, which provides a basis for the screening of subsequent operating signal characteristics. And second, research on leakage and discharge faults of subway electromechanical equipment based on the causes of leakage and discharge faults. The types of electromechanical equipment are divided as follows. First, suspension leakage discharge fault. Second, corona leakage discharge fault failure. Third, leakage discharge failure along the dielectric surface. Fourth, internal leakage discharge fault. The above process completes the in-depth exploration of the causes and specific types of leakage and discharge faults 
of subway electromechanical equipment, and made sufficient preparations for the subsequent future extraction of leakage and discharge faults of the equipment. Third, feature extraction of operator signal of electromechanical equipment. Based on the obtained subway equipment operating signal set 1, the big data analysis technology wavelet transform algorithm is applied to scientifically extract the operating signal characteristics of subway electromechanical equipment, which provides a basis for subsequent electromechanical equipment leakage and discharge fault detection. Singular spectral entropy is one of the many methods for analyzing one-dimensional time series in time domain and is a good tool to study noise-containing signals. The basis of singular spectral entropy analysis is the singular volume value decomposition theorism in matrix analysis. Singular values are commonly used in matrix analysis. Because of their good stability, singular values have important applications in singular a signal processing. Singular value decomposition is an important matrix decomposition method in linear algebra and matrix theory. The steps to perform singular spectral analysis on operating signals of subway electromechanical equipment are as follows. Choose the length of L for the analyst window. L is also known as the embedding dimension in embedded analysis. In order to make full use of the information of the signal, the time delay constant of 1 is selected. Therefore, the pattern data in the signal is intercepted and analyzed with a window order of L1. Construct a pattern data matrix or a trajectory matrix in embedding space. The sequence is divided into n L segment pattern data in the pattern window of L1, and these data form a pattern matrix which is expressed as following. So through the corresponding relationship between the singular value and the mode in the mode matrix, you can think that the singular value spectrum is a division of the operating signal of the electromechanical device in the time domain. Therefore, the singular spectral entropy of the operating signal of the subway equipment in the time domain can be defined as the uh, formula 3. In the operation process, in order to facilitate the comparison, we generally normalize the singular spectral entropy of the operating signal of the subway equipment. After processing, the influence of the selected window length on the operation can be reduced. The expression is the formula 4. By analyzing the operating signal of subway electromechanical equipment in the frequency domain, its information entropy characteristics, that is, the power spectrum, of the operating signal can also be obtained. Suppose the discrete for uh, transformation of uh, running signal is the formula 5. And based on the results of formula 5, the power spectrum of the operating signal of the electromechanical equipment is obtained, and the expression is the formula 6. And the power spectrum H of each frequency can also be regarded as a distinction for equipment operating signals. Then the power spectrum entropy calculation formula is formula 7. Obviously, the power spectrum entropy is also the highest value when the signal is white noise. So the operation results of formula 7 can still be normalized and the expression is uh, formula 8. The above research obtains the information entropy characteristics of the electromechanical equipment operating signal in the time domain and frequency. The two study the operating signal characteristics from different perspectives, which makes the operating signal feature larger and increases the amount of calculation for leakage and discharge fault detection. Therefore, this research applies the big data analysis technology wavelet transform algorithm to effectively combine the analysis results in the time and frequency domains and obtain the information entropy characteristics of the time frequency joint domain. The singular spectral entropy and power spectral entropy of the operating signal of subway electromechanical equipment are mapped into the wavelet space 
and the information entropy characteristics of the time frequency join domain are obtained by adding weight coefficients. The expression is formula 9. In the above process, the extraction of information entropy in the time frequency joint domain, which is the characteristic of the operating signal of subway electromechanical equipment, is completed, which lays a solid foundation for subsequent leakage and discharge fault detection. 4. Leakage and discharge fault detection of electromechanical equipment. The leakage and discharge fault signals of subway electromechanical equipment are obtained, and the process shown in the previous section is used to extract the information entropy K of the joint time frequency domain. Based on this, combined with the support vector machine algorithm, the accurate detection of leakage and discharge faults of electromechanical equipment is realized. Support vector machine is a binary classification model. Its purpose is to find a hyperplane to accurately and perfectly segment the sample. The principal segmentation is to maximize the interval. Before dividing the sample, the data vector in the long dimensional space is divided. Map to high dimensional space, establish a maximum interval hyperplane in the high dimensional space and completely classify the original data into two independent hyperplanes. That is, realize the binary classification of data 8. Support vector machines can solve overfitting and local optimal problems very well, and are especially suitable for solving high-dimensional and nonlinear problems. If a linear function can separate the samples, the data samples are said to be linearly separable. In other words, a linear function in a two-dimensional space is a straight line, the linear function in a three-dimensional space is a plane, and so on. If the dimension of the space is not considered, such linear functions are collectively called a hyperplane. Linearly separable SVMs deal with strictly linearly separable data sets, and all points in the data set must strictly satisfy the linearly separable constraints in order to apply linearly separable SVMs. An example of a linear function in a linearly separable two-dimensional space is shown in figure 2. As shown in figure 1, interval calculation is very important in the application of SVM algorithm. The essence of the interval is equal to the projection of the difference between two uh, heterogeneous support vectors on the support vector space. The calculation formula is formula 10. As shown in figure 1, uh, interval calculation is very important in the application of uh, SVM algorithm. The essence of the interval is equal to the projection of the difference between two um, heterogeneous support vectors on the support vector space. The calculation formula is like the following. In addition, to construct an SVM with good performance, the choice of kernel function is a key. However, different types of kernel functions correspond to different mapping spaces, thus showing different pr properties, which in turn determine different nonlinear problem solving capabilities as well as different applicable scopes and environments. Therefore, it's necessary to select the appropriate kernel function according to the specific data. The four commonly used kernel function types are as follows. The polynomial kernel function, which is a global kernel function, the higher the data dimension, the easier it is to classify, and the generalization ability is strong, but its learning ability is weak. RBF kernel function, which is suitable for dealing with situations when the number of features is much smaller than the number of samples. In the absence of prior knowledge of the samples, the RBF kernel function will always achieve good results. Therefore, the RBF kernel support vector machine learning. It has strong ability and is the most widely used kernel function at present. The expression is formula 13. According to the operating signal characteristics of subway electromechanical equipment, the RBF kernel function is selected as the kernel function for leakage and discharge fault detection of electromechanical equipment. By introducing the RBF kernel function into the support vector machine algorithm to obtain 
the optimal classification hyperplane. The operating signals of subway electromechanical equipment can be quickly and accurately divided into normal signals and leakage discharge fault signals, thus realizing the leakage and discharge fault detection of subway electromechanical equipment. Effective detection. Now we'll move on to chapter 3, Experiment and Result Analysis. First, Experiment Preparation Stage. In order to verify the application performance of the proposed technology, the subway electromechanical equipment room is selected as the experimental object. The room contains a variety of electromechanical equipment which can include all types of leakage discharge faults and meet the technical testing requirements of leakage discharge fault detection. At the same time, the big data analysis technology wavelet transform algorithm is applied in the um, proposed technology, which involves the wavelet transform coefficient, which directly determines the accuracy of the feature extraction of actual mechanical equipment operating signals. Therefore, before the experiment is carried out, the optimal value of the wavelet transform coefficient needs to be determined. The relationship between the wavelet transform coefficient obtained through testing and the accuracy of feature extraction equipment is shown in figure 3. Second, analysis of experimental results. Based on the selected experimental objects and the determined experimental parameters, the leakage and discharge fault detection experiment of subway electromechanical equipment is carried out. In order to improve the accuracy of the experimental conclusions, the method of reference 2 and the method of reference 3 are used to are used as experimental comparison method and 10 different experimental conditions are set, as shown in Table 1. This is Table 1, setting table of experimental conditions. And for the second analysis of uh, experimental results, taking the experimental conditions shown in Table 1 as the background conditions, and the success rate of leakage and discharge fault detection as the evaluation index, the effectiveness and feasibility of the proposed technology are verified. The success rate data of leakage discharge fault detection obtained through experiments are shown in Table 2. As shown in the data uh, in Table 2, the leakage and discharge fault detection success rates obtained by applying the proposed technology are all greater than the given minimum limit, and the maximum value reached 95.1%. The minimum value also reached 84.12%, which fully confirms the effectiveness and feasibility of the proposed technology. Now we come to the conclusion. The subway is composed of a variety of electromechanical equipment, with the upgrading and development of electromechanical equipment. Its internal structure has become more and more complex, resulting in a sharp increase in the frequency of leakage and discharge failures, which restricts the development and application of subways. Therefore, a method based on big data analysis is proposed. Leakage and discharge fault detection technology of subway electromechanical equipment, the um, experimental results show that the technology greatly improves the success rate of leakage and discharge fault detection, provides an effective basis for the handling of leakage and discharge faults of electromechanical equipment, and also provides a guarantee for the safety of subway operation. That's all of my uh, sharing today. Thanks for watching.